Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're going to be checking out one simulation from the user Jis Hani in Discord. Apologies if I've scrapped the uh, pronunciation on there but yeah we've got one system from them today and their simulation is called the TuneBit system. So without further ado guys we're just going to hop straight into the action so let's see what we have... Uh got here okay so the tune bit system is a lost system taking place in 2031 it is said to have lost civilizations scattered on the Hassel planets and some even planets no one can live on here are some stats for better explanation of the planets okay so tune bit a so let's go all the way into the center here so here is the central star so we can see radius wise it's not the largest it's a red dwarf basically so there it is there so cool Alright, so onto the first of the planets, so tune bit AB, the hottest of the A star, and is actually said to have a lot of species living under the planet's crust in solid liquid form. Okay, that could exist. So there's a uh, brief look of this object here, so we can see obviously quite close to the uh, red dwarf star there as well. Next out, we have got tune bit AC. Oh, yeah, AC, a hot desert world located in the middle of the red zone of A-star. The hot desert has secret colonies scattered around the planet and could be the right place to live in. It is said that as of right now, people from other planets can live on the north or south pole of the warmest parts of the planet. Okay, nice. So there it is. Reminds me of Venus a lot, this one on first glance. Sort of Venus-Mars hybrid right there. Cool. Next up, we've got tune bit AD. Another desert world, but this time it's frigid cold. No human or animal steps on this freezing, dried up desert world. So this is basically the Mars equivalent then. So we can see, if we just turn off the grid there, it looks like it's got a thick atmosphere. So it's like a thick atmosphere version of... It's basically a Mars and Venus combined. A cold Venus almost. So there it is there. Cool. It's also got a uh, moon as well. So we can see, yeah, uh, there it is. Nice. Okay, next up we've got tune bit AE, a beautiful blue gas giant. All right, what have we got here? With very high CO2 atmosphere. Ooh, okay, nice. So it has three minor moons with one main moon that is said to have rovers sent from tune bit AC to explore the moon. Nice. So let's look at the moons. They're all very, very close to the planet as well. Oh, they are dangerously close. So there they are here. Uh, tune bit AEA. So there's the next moon, and lastly, the other moon over here. I'm guessing it's also um, just a little uh, asteroid moon. So obviously a sphere would not work this close. The planet would shred into bits. So there's that. And also we've got a, a further moon over here as well, which is the larger of the moons. So we can see it's a, a fair distance away, and I'm guessing it's um, a thick atmosphere like Venus. Yeah, so that's what it looks like underneath. Cool. Okay, so next up we've got tune bit AF, which is this one over here. So here we can see, oh, an Earth-like world. It's got city lights on it as well. Okay, so AF, a habitable planet that is the main planet of the system. Every normal existing human lives on this planet. It has a minor moon that will crash into the main moon of the planet. That is a white crater-filled moon. Nice. So but the planet itself, we'll look at the stats. Let's see what we've got on tune bit AF. So 83 and 56, not bad. Nice stats there. And here we can see the two moons that are going to collide eventually. So here's the first of the moons. So we've got the small moon here, and then we've got the large moon over here. Cool. So there is that one. Okay, next up we've got tune bit AG. This gas giant is one of the loneliest planets as there is it has never been discovered for. There is no moons also discovered. Okay, so it's a very sort of plain, bland gas giant like Uranus in a way there. So there it is. Okay, next up we have got tune bit AH. It is a red gas world that also has a CO2 atmosphere and one of the fastest winds in the system. The winds can reach up to 3,500 miles an hour. That is faster than the winds of Neptune that are only 1,800 miles an hour. So yeah, these are these are pretty quick. Tune bit, very nice indeed there. And then uh, also got um, AHA or AHA, <laughs> so there's that one. And there we can just see a bunch of other minor moves as well, so not really too much to uh, report on there. So there are those ones. Okay. Cool, right, so now we have got uh, G, I think. Or, no, AI, so... so we've done AH. So, oh, here's AI, oh, I'm completely blind. Right, so here it is. Okay, so a purple desert dwarf planet with a surprisingly stable moon system, even though it has a moon almost half the size of the planet itself. Oh, yeah, okay. Cool, so there are the moons. So we'll just get a full line of all of those guys over here. Oh, this one is a little atmosphere, this one. Hey, nice. That's the largest of the moons. Quite close to the planet as well, and then I'll see onto the next moon over here. So AID, and then uh, AIE. So there's um, those guys there. Cool. 
Right, now next up, we are taking a jump to, I guess, tune bit B. So let's head over here. Okay, so tune bit B, A. And obviously the star itself, I'm guessing another red dwarf. Yep, an even smaller red dwarf. Okay, so the first of the planets. This world is a very dark world of life. It has one of the hugest colonies ever, and you can really see. Look at the city lights on that. He's definitely done some weird modern stuff, because those are really bright. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. So it's got a lot of colonies. It's also tinted. You can tell this object's been tinted uh, by the looks of things as well. I want to say it's a very dark world of life. It has one of the hugest colonies ever and one of the most weirdest looking animals out there is. Cool. Let's look at stats. Um, it's 83 and 33. Cool. Right. So Tunebit BB. One of the most hatable planets there is. Okay. It has a small colony or small community on it trying to find more land since the water levels are rising. Okay, you can see it's got a thick atmosphere as well. Stats 74 and 61. Looking underneath, you can see not much islands, but got some uh, city lights on them as well, which is pretty cool. So there it is. So yeah, very, very high ocean levels there. So then we've got Tunebit BA, also a little moon as well. Orbiting quite close to it. Cool. Right, so next up we have got Tunebit BC over here. It might look like a beautiful Paris world, but if you stay away, the people on this planet have been at war each other for 55 years at this point. They also have strict rules to follow. If you dare to step on the planet, you have to work for the rest of your life. If you do anything wrong, you'll be killed. Oof. Right, so here's this one. So, hostile environment, a war world. Here we can see. Got a lot of lights going on in it as well. There it is there. Stat-wise, let's have a look at what stats it's got. 0 0.320 and 1.57. So, yeah, it looks like the wars really hurt that one there. Okay. And then lastly, should we got BC. Then we've got BD over here. There is no um, reading for this one. There's a next button. Oh. oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, no, I want to go back. No, how do I go back? Restart. There you go. All right. So, so we've got this object here. It doesn't even have a description. So this is tune bit BD. Was it BD? Yeah, BD. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, so there's it there. Oh, resume. No, I've closed. What am I doing? I don't know how I've done that. Oh, that's annoying. Let's open it again. <laughs> oh, damn it. Right, so Tunebit System. So yeah, that planet had no description, which is a uh, Tunebit BD. Had purple city lights on it, which were quite cool. Okay, so let's do that again. So where are we? So we were over here. Okay, and then uh, BD. Perfect. All the way over here. So yeah, there is a closer view of its city lights. Looking good. There, that's an Earth City light texture. You can see also you got India, China area there. It's really cool. Okay, cool. Right, so there are those guys. And then lastly, looking at the bottom here, we have this Ptolemar. Du vai eke vit det. So that is this object over here. So this mysterious object that has a different name to everything else. And it is appearing to be a Europa. So it looks like it's Europa. Yes, a Europa texture. And it's just an abandoned little frozen world sitting on the edge out of side of both stars areas. It's also got some lights on it as well. Okay, there we are. So that does it for the tune bit system. So i got to say, I really enjoyed um, looking through that. I really, really did like that. So there is Ptolemy. So getting a full lineup of all the systems. With all the planets, I say, here they are. So you've got the two, obviously, stars. Gas giants. Nice different range of gas giants there. Onto the rocky planets. Here's a, here is them all there. i got to say, I really, really did like this one with the glowing lights. That does look really cool. So there's that one. And I'll see onto all the other planets as well. Yeah, very, very nice lineup indeed. But with that all said and done, guys, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, uh, Gish Hani, for sending this simulation in. I really did enjoy it. Nice job to them for this one. And yeah, guys, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. And also subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. And yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.